Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. We're for a face shave, it's Saturday afternoon, Manchester United beat Leicester 2-1 this morning over here in Australia. Luke Shaw played probably his best Premier League game I've seen since he left Southampton. I was really chuffed for the lad to get a goal. I've been desperate for him to score a goal. It's, uh, I was just over the moon for him and uh, I think he played really well. However, the rest of the team sort of struggled. Pogba had an okay game. Fred, I thought, was busy. Looked like he was all over the place. He was, he was tenacious. He was all into all the players, but wasn't the best game of football I've watched from United. But I was pleasantly surprised because they were missing a few sort of fresh players ready to sort of go Lukaku and Martial and things like that. I'm hoping Martial gets back in the team very, very soon. I think Mata, who is a great player, just does not have the pace at the moment to carry through a full 90 minutes. Anyway, enough football talk, Man United won. That's all that matters. I'm going to be doing a shave with Moon Silps. Havana. Now the label on this is absolutely beautiful. For some reason it actually reminds me of an old school tobacco label. Now Havana I believe is a cigar, a Havana cigar, I'm not sure. The scent on this does apparently have some, I think, tobacco in here. I cannot bloody remember to be absolutely brutally honest with you. There is the company themselves, moonsoaps.com and they are run by a husband and wife team, Zach and Melody. Zach and Melody. I think Melody, yeah, I'm sure it is. So Havana there, and then on the side here, as you can see, just on here, rendered in-house tallow formula. Now Zach, or Zachary, pretty sure Zach's okay, is a butcher, or an ex-butcher of 24 years, I think he said. So all the tallow that goes into the soaps, he actually renders himself from the ribs of beef stock, or the ribs of the cows, and does it himself, so from the butcher to the barber. So it's really, really nice. This stuff is all in-house made. It's not store-bought tallow or mass-produced tallow that could be just crap. This is the good stuff. The scent on it, I really enjoy. It is it is very light, but it does remind me a bit of Noble Otto Bar Bar. It does have that sort of, it's got a powdery sweet, a little bit of citrus, I think, and then there's a bit of vanilla or amber or something in there for my nose. Now the no scent notes on this don't smell like they smell to me, they'll smell differently to you obviously, but I try to give you a better impression of what my nose thinks it smells like, but it is a light scent, it's around about a 2 to a 3 in scent strength, but it is very very nice. Now the brush I'm using today is the same brush I used with it yesterday for my face shave, and that is this absolutely stunning turn and shave brush, made by Milton over in the States, absolutely beautiful, you can see all the colour in the top there, and what we have in here is a 26mm quarter moon knot which on my head shave yesterday was lovely let's see how it whips up a lather on a face shave so straight into the dry soap it's going to need quite a bit of water to load this up it's quite a firm soap which is great it's six ounces as well which is amazing i think one of the guys commented on there is 17 dollars a tub from moonsoaps.com obviously shipping in america is a lot cheaper than international shipping so if you live over there i'm not sure whether they do a deal if you spend so much you get it free or the shipping's cheaper, you can opt in for cheaper and more expensive shipping. This was just very, very kindly sent over from Zach and Melody to pretty much showcase on the channel, use, get a feel for it and see what I think. And so far from my head shave yesterday, it's definitely got the properties that I enjoy for a head shave. It's, it's thick and it's slick and the residual slickness on it was excellent. Right, so there is the brush all loaded up. Wet the face. And here we go. Now, even though it's not a song, strong scent, it is a very nice scent. You'll have to excuse the noise in the background. The kids have been noisy and the TV's on, the wife's doing her nails. And Paint some water. <laughs> really interested to see how this grows on the face lather. I can tell you it feels very, very creamy before I lather it, just with a load on, just with a bit of water through it. And all I'm looking for is to make this nice and translucent so that you can see my skin through it very easily.
it's taking a lot of water. This knot's really soft. Two beautifully soft tips. It's extremely similar to the knot that I've got in my NB Shave brushes. More so the abalone brush. Right, I'm going to go with this with the last dip because this is taking an incredible amount of water and it's not going too translucent. You can see it is, but not as much as other silk, so oh, let's see how we go. Oh, this knot's beautiful. I just found out today that I sent one of my giveaway brushes to the wrong person. So someone, Jarrett, who won the turn and shave brush, was actually sent a West Coast shaving brush. So I'm a bit un un unsure as to whether I've got the rest of them correct or not. But rather than mince about trying to get other people to send them about and back, I've just teed up with Milton to make the guy brush. Because that's my fault. And rather than messing other people about as well, going to the post office and things like that, I would rather just fix it that way and he can choose his own brush then. So, win win for him, he gets two brushes. This lather's amazing. Like, seriously good. Very, very unknown soap company in terms of shaving soap. Never heard of them before. It just messaged me out of the blue on an email. Asking me if I'd be so kind as to just even have a look at his product and let him send it over and give it a go. Now, Seriously, what an amazing ladder. Wow. Very easy to work with. It takes a lot of water. This is really dense, creamy ladder. Like definitely holy call, noble water stuff. Uh, Barrister Man, look at that. Wow. I mean, there's hardly even an air bubble in it, if I'm honest. That is just pure glossy cream. <laughs> right, someone mentioned, will the Rockwell blade be any good in the car of Christopher Bradley razor? Let's find out. Christopher Bradley razor, solid brass, with the C plate, which is a 0.85 blade gap. It's the only one I own, the only blade gap that I've got, the only base plate. The rest of them are coming eventually, along with another surprise. So this water's gone really cold, so I'm just going to replenish it with some warm water. So, can it make a Rockwell razor's blade feel like a half decent blade? Probably not, but we shall give it a go. So there we go. Not really. <laughs> Is it shavable? Yeah, oh, certainly. But that's quite tuggy.
I think it was all right, it's not, yeah, it, uh, Look, it's made a blade that for me is a shit blade, normally, into a usable blade. But I will be honest, it's coming out right now, and I'm putting a blade in that I enjoy. The residual slickness is spot on. The protection and the performance of the ladder itself is spot on. Let's grab another blade. Let's go with the Persona. Made in Glasgow blade from the sort of, I think it's between the the 40s and the 60s, 1940s, 1960s, obviously. Max. Right, so the blade I've just replaced it with is this the Persona. These blades are made in Glasgow many moons ago, and here we go. Oh, yes. It's a stupendous ladder. Okay, cross the green with this vintage persona. Oh, did I put the blade in? Don't feel nothing with these blades, they're just phenomenal. Now when Zach sent me this when I first spoke to him, when he first emailed me, he reckoned obviously it's his own soap, and trying not to be unbiased with it, reckoned his soap was as good if not better than a lot of the premier artisans out there. Now I don't know if it's something to do with the fact that he renders his own tallow. When it's like a premium tallow, I don't know. I have to agree with them on the soap. The soap's really, really slick. It's very protective. I mean, you can see a little bit of water and it just glides. Overall, so far. It's really, really good soap. For 17 bucks. For six ounces. It's really slick, it's really protective, it loads easy, it lathers easy, it smells great. It's not a super strong scent, the great thing is it's not reacting to my skin, which for me is a bonus with any soap. Right, let's dip the tips, let's see how it grows again.
Now, I did say on the cards, it was the, I think it was the, the letter they wrote, I'd love to see if it made top 10. At the moment, based on my one head shave and one face shave, I chose this one in particular to use first because out of the two scents this one is the one I don't that doesn't appeal to me quite as much it's still a lovely scent but the other one has got a little bit more going on and it's a little bit stronger which appeals to me more Super strong scent, but you smell it during the whole shave, which for me is really good. Superb. Absolutely superb. Now, I'm just going to dry my face off. Just let that sit for a minute while I rinse everything out and just see what the post shave feels like on it. And if it's anything like the rest of the soap from start to finish, from the label to the tub, to the service, to the scent, to the load, to the ladder. It's a really, really good quality soap. And definitely for the price, six ounces, and that's the same. In fact, there's 0.2 of an ounce more than what you get from sterling soaps. Obviously, a little bit more expensive. the soap out there. I mean, that's an amazing shave. I've got a little bit of rotation just here, right there. But to be honest with you, I think partly to do with the fact that I used the, the Rockwell blade, which it wasn't very smooth if I'm honest. It was just better than it was in any other ways that I'd used it and I've only used it twice before I think from memory. So it is definitely better in the car but if it's the only blade you had, yes you would be able to shave with it. Oh, would it make me want to keep shaving with a DE? Probably not. I think you would get tired of it pretty quickly. <laughs> right, so, post shave. The post shave feels as good as anything else. I can't really, it's getting to a point now where I can't discern whether something is better than another thing. It's very, very difficult, it's a very close call. But this, I've just used Face Fat, then I've used, I've used Barrister Man, I've used Sterling, I've used Phoenix and Boa, I've used Wickham, 
I've used Ariana Nevin's Holy Call, Holy Cow. I've used them all recently, very recently, and it's getting very difficult to pick between what's better. I do find this one here and Tallow and Steel, and what's the other one I've just recently used yesterday, even Face Fat, they're all very easy to load once you get the right load in the brush and then they lather up really, really simply. You can't really go wrong with it. You can't not get a great lather from it. Now, a massive thing for me, personally, is the brush you use. If you're new to wet shaving, this style of traditional wet shaving, a synthetic brush, in my opinion, will, will yield a better lather, hands down a better lather for an inexperienced person that's got no idea, they've never done it before, it's all new to them. So, that's certainly a big thing that I find. If you can find the soap, that lathers really easily, whether it's with a natural hair brush or a synthetic brush, that's great. But seriously, with these synthetic brushes, I don't care who you are, you will not create a thicker, more voluminous, better three-pass lather than I can get from a synthetic brush. I don't care who you are and how long you load your brush for. Um, Jared Stein on Facebook is the exact same. I've never seen him get a lather anywhere near what he can get from a synthetic, from a natural hair brush. I'm not saying natural hair brushes are shit and that they get crap lathers because they don't. But a synthetic will create an easier, quicker, better lather in my opinion. Moil Grooming Frankenlime Frosted. So this has got the menthol on it. I love this stuff. It's just pure lime. One, two, three. Oh, oh Sean, you're some man. I'll tell you what, it makes your eyes water. It's just the perfect amount of menthol. Now, like I said several times before, if you don't want the scent to be affected by the menthol scent, don't get it frosted. If you love menthol and you need it like I do, get it mentholated. In the summer, you will thank me endlessly for the whole summer if you get a frosted moil grooming aftershave splash. Right. Well, that is, oh, that menthol is just incredible. Moon Soaps Havana. I love the labels, love the tubs, six ounces of soap. It loads super, super easy. You can see how fatty that is. I think that's the fat, the sort of white in the, the clear. Six ounces of soap, smells great. It really does smell nice. It's a very, very light, sort of citrus powdery, I can't really explain it, it's a bit of ambery, woodsy sort of scent through it, it's really nice, it is light, but you can smell it through the whole shave, I can assure you that, that the scent changes under your nose as you're lathering up, so you're always smelling something, which I think is excellent for such a light scented soap, normally you lose those light scents when you lather them up. The brush today was outstanding, turn and shave from Milton over in the States, the man makes flawless brushes in my opinion. There's not a single striation, scratch, chip, mark on this whole brush. It's just absolutely stunning. Stunning. The, the glitter, everything, just spot on. The Carve Christopher Bradley razor, solid brass, CNC machined in Canada. Best razor for me that I've ever used. I recommend it to anyone and everyone, at least to try. I have yet to come across someone that thinks it's utter shit or it doesn't get on with it. Oh, I've heard people say it's not as good as the charcoal or the Wolfman or whatever. I haven't tried either of those, so I can't really comment on that. But for me, I've tried a lot of high-end expensive razors from Rock Nose. Timeless, you know, one blade above the tie, you name it. Nothing comes close to this razor, in my opinion, personally. In fact, strangely enough, probably the closest I've come to it is the Yaki Double Open Comb. Crazy, eh? 20 odd bucks for a razor and it's the closest I've come to the carve. Right, so finished up. Well, the blade I started off with was this. The car, the carve, the Rockwell razors, Swedish super steel, shit blades, but manageable in this razor. It does make it better than it does than what the blade feels in other razors. And finished off today with the Persona made in Glasgow blade, the gold dot, and then finished off with in my opinion, I'm not an aftershave splash expert, but you can see from the ingredients in here, I mean, you've got teenagered alcohol, organic witch hazel, vegetable glycerin, aloe vera juice, jojoba oil, fractionated coconut oil, castor oil, menthol, liquid lanolin, grapefruit, grapefruit seed oil, 
and essential oils. Now, the menthol fuel down my face is still ice cold. The moisturisation level of my face is phenomenal. This little bit of redness here is gone. It's pretty much gone. I can hardly see it now. My skin feels lovely after it and it stays lovely for the rest of the day. I'm not, I mean, if I shave at 12 in the afternoon, 12 o'clock the following day, it feels great still. So I'm really, really impressed with the product. It's not greasy, it's not oily, and your skin just feels great for the rest of the day. But this one was for this. And I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with it. I think Zach's made a crack in soap. Now, what he's doing is every soap base is different. This soap base is different to Old School, which is the other one that he sent over. And he's in the process of two new scents, I believe, and two new formulas. So he's not all about sticking to the same thing. He's trying to give you different bases to work with as well, which is awesome, along with the scents. So that being said, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Head over to moonsoaps.com, grab yourself a tub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.